This area at the back of the boat where the windows slope forward represents some wasted space. So I'm going to try to build a locker that goes in that space and I'll start by cutting a cardboard template that I think should be about the right shape for the locker. With the cardboard template cut out, now I want to compare it with the space and this bar had to come out before the template could go in place. So this is where the locker will go. It's going to be the width of that wedge-shaped area and taper down to nothing at the bottom. And now that I've got my template adjusted to be the right size and shape, I can use it to mark and then cut this nitacore. It's a honeycomb core panel for fiberglass and carbon fiber and composite layups like that. Once I've got the lines marked, I'm cutting it with just a razor knife going along the edge of that straight edge so that I'm making a nice straight cut. Just go over it a couple of times. I just try to cut through the surface on the first path and then go all the way through with the second or third path. These fasteners used to hold down a bubble that enclosed the flybridge when the boat was in Michigan. But they're going to be in the way of where I want to attach the locker, which is going to be gluing it along this top strip here. So now that the honeycomb core is cut to size, I can use it to lay out the five, cut the fiberglass also to size. This is four ounce surfboard cloth because these pieces aren't really structural. They're not going to take a tremendous amount of load. I could easily make the panels much stronger with 1708 or multiple layers of heavy cloth. I've removed the fiberglass at the moment and what I'm doing is I'm wetting down the surface of the Nidacore panel itself. And the panel has this furry stuff bonded to each side, which the resin soaks into the fibers and makes just an excellent bond with the panel. So with the panel wet out, I can roll out my glass cloth on the panel. And then I'm going to use some more resin and a roller to both saturate the glass cloth with resin and also to chase any of those air bubbles out from underneath. You can see the bubbles as like white areas and the glass cloth goes completely transparent once you've got all the air out from underneath it and it's saturated with resin. This is how I trim the excess glass cloth that I ran just a little bit long on each dimension of the panel. I use the sander to trim it because it will abrade the glass cloth preferentially where it goes over the edge of the panel. And <clears throat> it makes a nice clean cut, a very straight crisp edge right exactly at the edge of the panel. And now the pieces can be cut to size now that they've been laminated on both sides and trimmed at the edges. This T-fitting held that bar that I removed to the ladder 
and in order to remove it completely I'd have to completely disassemble the ladder so I just pounded it on its set screws so that it faces the other way and with that out of my way I can now assemble the first few panels to see if I've got the locker basically the size and shape that it needs to be. Okay, so some splaining. This is the hatch for the engine bay, so that needs to be able to raise up. This 2x4 is holding this up at the right level so that it's even with the top of that. And let's see, at the moment it's just got a little bit of tape holding it in place. There's just very little clearance up here below the solar panel rack. Which I guess means it's making use of all of the space. And so a couple of issues, right? First off, I think I should have gel coat on the ceiling at the very least before gluing the whole thing in place. So I'm not making a mess trying to paint it underneath here. So I can mark this and the other end and cut this ceiling piece to the exact right size now rather than later. So it does clear this gusset which is over this this part of the boat not in board which either great planning it KMW fabrication or just a lucky accident. I'll take it either way. Okay, so I've got to make some marks on this. Pull it apart. Gel coat. And then back to the beginning. There will be two layers of gel coat. The first layer is just catalyst mixed with the gel coat and the second layer is catalyst, gel coat and a wax additive which will have the wax float to the surface and seal the gel coat from the air. It's polyester resin based so it will only completely harden when cut off from the air and that's why the wax is used. And this is how I close off the edges of the panels. And I only do this where a panel doesn't butt up against another panel. So in this case, right here, this edge is going to show. And I don't want the open edge of the core to be showing. So what I've done is I've cut a little strip of chopped strand mat just a little bit oversized to go over the edge here. And as I wet that out, the resin soaks through the chopped strand and actually bonds it to the glass on either side of the panel. And again, I'm trimming this with the sander. If I can manage to hold the sander flat against the face of the panel, then it will only grind off the excess glass that's running long of the edge and it, it makes a very straight crisp line right exactly along the edge of the panel and i'll speed this up but at least you get to see how nice it looks once it's been cut this way so there are, there are not many places to attach the locker that's going to go here. 
I've sanded, I've removed all the fasteners along here for the old bubble that used to go over the flybridge. And I've sanded this with really coarse 40 grit sandpaper. If it was really super structural and critical, I would go down to bare glass, but I think for this, roughing up the gel coat is probably good. Another place where I can attach it is this lip right here. The metallic frame of the sliding door. This piece here, all through here, is the cover for the engine bay, so the locker can't interfere with that. So I'm going to have it rest right on this little ledge. But I want it wider than this. It'll come back to about there. So I've cut a board a specially sized board that sets right on that ledge there and it comes right to the end of that little indentation on both sides and I also measured on the piece of nitacore that will be the back of all of this where the end of this board should go so the next thing to happen is I'm going to glue this board to the back of the sheet of Nidacor that's going to be this back part of the locker. And that has no gel coat on it and it does have one layer of glass and polyester laminating resin. So really all it needs is a wipe down and it can make a chemical bond to more polyester resin that will go on this board. And resin likes to soak into wood. It soaks into the grains and gets a really good grip. Here I'm painting one side of that board with some catalyzed polyester resin. And I really should have painted some of the resin on the back of the panel before adding the thickener. Although it is the, the resin that's there already, the hardened resin, is polyester resin and it hasn't been sealed off from the air so it should make a chemical bond even to the thickened resin here. So, this is tight here, but has an increasing gap as it goes up. That board was glued on at just very slightly the wrong angle. So the whole thing is leaning that way. And so I think before I start putting together the closet here, I want to shift that over by just that much. All right, and I think I'm going to wedge something in here to hold it. And since I didn't get to go out on the boat last year, These pool noodles are decaying. This is actually like too crumbly to shove in there. But this one is starting to get a little flaky on the outside, but still stiff enough in the middle. So I'm going to take this. 
and my trusty razor knife and I'm gonna cut this to size okay so I want to cut it just a little bit long so that there's some compression and I can always make it shorter Setting the camera down for a minute to cut it. <sighs> All righty. So here's the plan. That gets shoved over. That gets wedged in there. And that holds it. And I just stop a little bit short of this end when filling in with the goop. So this is adding a bunch of thickened resin to that metallic frame. And it's thick enough that it'll take up the slack in the angle when this panel goes on and that bottom board is at slightly the wrong angle. So with the panel pushed way over to that one side, there's still hopefully some resin in between the board and the metallic frame at the bottom all the way along. And that's just it for this time.